so just updating escape artist. Oh, there is a nice little lag spike. Anyways, so escape artist is a skill line that allows you to be invisible on the radar depending on your opponent's perception, but only in PvP. I don't remember if TC is still bugged or not. If it is, in TC both players have to be PvP flagged, meaning like when they're selected you'll see the little bracket PvP next to their name and their name will usually be red. So there's that, but everywhere else it w functions just fine as long as it's in a PvP zone or f PvP flagged. Other than that, uh, there were a little bit of tooltip fixes and whatnot. So uh, Dash now actually specifies that it reduces your combat abilities, which means that it reduces your power, precision, and your weapon skill. So notice when I hit it, my rifle skill goes way fucking down. So does my precision and power. So if you shoot while that's active, you get screwed on damage output really bad. Uh, Save Yourself was added back in, well not added back in, added into uh, Escape Artist, so that's really nice. So now you can get a 20% HP boost. Obviously the duration scales with leveling it up. And it has a relatively long cooldown. But the nice deal about that is you can hit it and you can shoot while doing it and it won't interrupt. So that's always a plus. You can use it kind of like uh, staunch wounds, more well, more of an offensive staunch wounds. And of course, if you take damage while that's active, down to the point where it's the bonus HP. So notice how I had 832 unbuffed and went to like 900, whatever. I didn't really pay attention to it. But if you lose enough HP, so it's to that bonus HP it'll kill you because you'll hit zero HP since you shouldn't have had that extra HP anymore. So be careful when you're using that, be wary of the duration of it, so that way it doesn't kill you once it runs off. Um, Misdirection got a duration reduction, so now it's only 20 seconds rather than 30 seconds. Its stamina cost I think went up a little bit, but for the most part still a very good ability. You can still attack while using it, so it's very good for overwhelm, dent arm, pretty much any armor cut. Or if you're not a cap, which right now I'm not a cap. But it's still very nice. And then of course shake it off, which is probably the biggest change in this line. And that is, it is now the primary snare break of the game. Because of its low cooldown of 30 seconds. It only takes 0.5 seconds to cast. And, well, the duration of one doesn't really matter. But needless to say, Shake It Off 5 will pretty much dispel every single snare in the game other than, I believe, uh, Kneecap 6 and Caltrops, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the only two snares you can't dispel unless you go to Shake It Off 6. But obviously you can also attack while using it. So say if I'm like, oh shit, I got snared while I'm attacking, and then just boom, and you can still shoot while using it. So that's always a benefit. But that pretty much covers all of Escape Artist. Um, it still technically has a 10 second timer if you attack, use a mutation, a consumable, anything offensive will take you out of the stealth mode, basically which just hides your name, hides it on the radar, and obviously you get more of a stealth benefit, which actually this little meter right here will determine whether or not you're doing a lot. So when you shoot, notice the bar goes all the way up, which you can't technically avoid doing. So when you're using that and your bar goes up, then it obviously it makes it so they can see you on the radar. But notice when I'm crouched, you're not going to see the bar. When I'm running, you're going to see the bar. When I'm prone, pretty much the same thing. But you can get escape artists high enough to where you can run and whatnot, which I usually do by putting on this shotgun which has escape artist on it and my creeper serum and all that good stuff and I can actually run and be invisible on the radar to most players so that's always nice but that covers escape artist so I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next video